For about a century, environmental awareness and the importance of its protection has been spreading and has really picked up momentum in the past decade. With Israel having this reputation of doing more with less, Israel is at the forefront of this growing movement. Creativity and innovation has led Israel to be amongst one of the leading countries in green technology. Some may even describe this tiny nation as a sustainability superpower. Mmm. Mmm, -mm. tasty. <laughs> Today we're here to learn what it means to be environmentally aware and how to manage our planet's resources properly. We're here at Solar Park and how do you guys go about giving out this message to people? So first of all, we give a lot of examples. Uh, people come here and then they see all the little uh, details in the place and then they ask questions. And just by asking questions, if it comes from them, they learn the best way. Yaniv's sustainability tour focuses mainly on solar energy and other alternative sources of energy as well. He answers questions like where energy comes from and what really happens to our garbage. It looks like we are going to learn a lot today. So let's begin the tour. All right, let's go. Our first stop was the geodesic dome, which was solely made up of waste materials. And you'll never guess what the bench was created from. So what are these benches made out of? So these are made out of uh, old tires that we compacted with earth. And then we uh, covered them with a very small layer of uh, cement. But uh, you can see that we, uh, we brought in some uh, artists to make this yeah. specific thing. Absolutely nothing at the solar garden goes to waste. And as you can see, many materials are completely taken out of context and reused. It's sort of like a trend that's going on around Tel Aviv. Even the finest restaurants, you can see them reusing materials and furniture. One of the really nice restaurants that we went to, actually their counter was made out of cardboard boxes. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not just a trend, but a real change, because people need to start seeing the resources for what they are. Behind us here we have a vertical garden. Tell mm -hmm. us how this works and what are the benefits of a vertical garden? So the Green Wall project is actually a project that we've been doing for the last three years. Uh, we do it mostly in schools but also in a lot of communities and it has a lot of benefits and also all kinds of green values that we want to teach by building the Green Wall. So for instance, the first thing is you can realize that we build it from plastic bottles. So we're reusing plastic bottles. We're bringing more plants into uh, usually urban areas, so we're reducing sound and we're making insulation for the walls. Vertical gardens or green walls can be built on any wall and are not only great for the environment, but also useful for enhancing bare walls as an interior design element. So I want to show you something very cool. Okay, okay so this is the energy compound that we're entering now. And uh, one of the new, uh, New exhibits that we have is a special sun cooker, mm -hmm. which is this. Oh. And we can actually, you can have a seat, and uh, this can actually cook our food. It can be used just as a regular uh, oven, just like you use in the house. And uh, you can cook bread, you can cook, you know, potatoes or anything that you want, uh, right inside. Only with the sun, wow, using nothing really else. Impressive. The sun rays shine directly onto the vacuum tube, trapping the energy of the sun inside. So you're telling me that we could cook some vegetables in there, we could maybe boil an egg? Yes, we can, <laughs> if wow, we want. To Today, 90% of Israeli homes use solar energy to heat water. So let's check out another way to utilize the sunshine. Another thing I'd like to show you is the way we explain how a sun tower works. A sun tower actually collects the heat of the sun using a lot of mirrors. All the mirrors concentrate the sun to the top of the tower and then you can heat the water and turn it into vapor and make electricity. Okay, this is what it looks like in a, in a real life. Okay, and this is a miniature version exactly. Of it. So this is a very very small version of it, and we can see how it works. I actually use this to show the people and to let them feel how the sun is concentrated. So you can actually put your hand in the place where the sun is concentrated. Let's see. Oh, there it is, and you can feel the heat. You want to try? Yeah. Right over there. Mm -hmm. So this okay. is going to start a fire? Well, if I put a piece of cardboard inside and I leave it there for long enough, it might start a fire. It depends on how hot the sun is at, at that day. It's pretty strong today. Okay, so you want to give it a try? All right, so let's just put a piece of cardboard.
didn't go. Well, it made a hole right Yeah, it made a hole. That's there we pretty go. impressive. Not only does the Solar Garden offer hands-on multi-central activities and workshops around the garden, but brings these projects out to schools all around the country. Developing the garden was no easy task, but they had help from volunteers eager to turn waste materials into something more useful. There were so many people helping uh, in the process. We had over 200 volunteers coming here from all over the world, from many, many different countries, living here for two weeks, one month, and even six months. Most of them are either travelers or people who uh, want to find a better way to come to Israel and uh, kind of contribute and also get to know the culture a little bit more. Uh, when they come here, it's a little bit different than being just a regular tourist, because here they kind of connect to a community and they see how the people live in Israel. I've always felt a connection with Israel. I was born here and I have a lot of family here, but um, I grew up in the States, so I'm always trying to find an excuse to come back and volunteering something that's really beneficial um, for not just me, but for the whole community here in Israel. It's appealed to me because it's a sustainability teaching and learning center. There are more and more sustainable options being implemented in new ways in Israel, and many visionaries working to enable a more healthy, green environment. People need to understand that each of us plays a role in how the environment will be kept. And if each of us does his own thing, each of us gives just a little push so uh, together, we can make the environment a much, much better place for all of us.